Now listen, right? I don't know about you guys, but cleaning and organizing videos, <laughs> I get off to that shit, to be honest. <laughs> Tell me why, right? It is so satisfying to watch someone put like something from one container to another. Now I am what you would call an adult. I'm 24, guys. Keeping on top of a house is hard work and I try to make it as enjoyable as possible because it's something you've got to do all the time, right? So to me, what brings me joy when I do it is organizing things, making stuff look good, making things like aesthetically pleasing. That's what motivates me and to be honest, I'm not hurting anyone. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna do the kitchen today because that's one space where obviously there's lots of storage. We're gonna start with the fridge back here, then make our way around the cupboards. Um, they're not too bad, they're not awful. Try to keep with it a bit. However, I did buy some new storage things, a few new ideas, so we're gonna do it together. Um, so if you find this type of video boring, why the fuck did you click on it? <laughs> to be honest, it's it right there, babes. Lighting's probably gonna be all over the place because I'm just using natural lighting, but it's chill. I mean, it's mother nature, what can we do? I did just get back from a food shop, which is why we're gonna start with the fridge so I can get things packed away. Guys, I'm talking, we're cleaning, we're organizing, we are getting rid, everything we are gonna do together. I've literally put everything on the side here. I don't know if you can see. Let me lower you a sec. So this is all like the fridge stuff. Apart from this, this is cleaning product. Let's bring you in to my fridge. This is my fridge. This is so bare. I promise my fridge doesn't normally just look like, it looks like I just eat fucking sauces. We were at the point where we literally needed to do a food shop, so this is what we're working with. Can you see? Maybe I should bring it in a little more. Sauces, cheese, a little bit of milk, literally nothing in here, to be honest. Um, it's fine. It's fine. But these glasses are annoying. Maybe I should take them off. Do you know what we need to start? Absolutely. Do you know what Red Bull, I think at this point, actually makes up like 99% of my being? Is what I, do. I think what I'm gonna do is start by taking everything out and just give the fridge a good clean. I typically do this every time I do a food shop anyway, so it's really not that bad, but just in case anything from like the previous food shop has kind of leaked or gone gross. By the way, I'm just using this, the pink stuff, multi-purpose cleaner. I'll even use the flora, just dilute it with some water. Um, don't judge me for my cleaning products, okay? <laughs> I'm still learning, this is just what's working for me. Um, and I'm just gonna use a minky to wipe everything down. Guys, I will say that if you do have any recommendations on cleaning products, your favorites, please let me know. Not just for the fridge, but anything at all, because I'm always on the hunt for like new things. I have the stuff that I use and it works for me and I love. Listen, I love me a B&M and home bargains trip, so count me in. <laughs> oh my God, there's a wasp in the house. No, no, but oh God, it flew up. Thank God. Thank God, thank God. Speaking of Sephora, this one, the raspberry and juniper berry. Oh my God. This smells so good. I think this might be a new scent. But I could be wrong with that. I've just got a little bit mixed in here with some water. I always have something like a spray bottle, like ready and prepared to use. Can I find it easier? I'm just going to take a little bit. I know this is not the right cloth, but I'm just going to take a little bit and kind of run it over the fridge just to make it smell nice. So like I'm so cautious about smells and stuff in the fridge. The other day, right, oh my God, there was the most disgusting smell coming from this fridge. And we even chucked out all the old food, just something was stanky. I was gagging. <laughs> right, cool. And now we can get to the fun stuff. Wish this could open more, but it can't. Anyway, right, so fridge storage. I like to use sort of like acrylic style containers in here to kind of keep things organized. I like them to be acrylic so I can see through them. I can see everything that I've got, easy that way. Um, and I did have, and I probably still will use some of these, some of these like acrylic trays. I got these from Amazon. Amazon is a cool place to be able to pick up stuff like this, guys, and it's a reasonable price as well. Now, I went on to John Lewis the other day and treated myself to some new acrylic pieces. I think there's something on there called like the home edit or something like that and that's where I got it from. They are a little bit more spenny. However, for me, I mean, number one, it contents me. Number two, I can keep them for a long period of time anyway, so. I got a huge box. <laughs> Down here. I also bought some new ones for the cupboards as well. I'm well excited. Obviously you don't understand. But these ones I thought would be great in the fridge. The cool thing about these ones, guys, is they're literally drawers, so they pull out, and they even have a divider halfway through. It is removable, you can take it out. I'm gonna keep it in, though, because I think it's cool to, like, separate stuff. Ugh, the front has these annoying stickers. Right, be right back. <laughs> Sure, 
that that shirt because these stick out a tiny bit but it's absolutely fine i think that's what i'm going to work with it looks a little bit plain right now but once stuff starts going in it should be good Guys, I have four of these, so I'm just going to chuck these in as well. I'm just like squatting down here. <laughs> in this week's food shop, I wanted to make some cute little fruit jars, basically pre-made. So just layer them up in here and then you can just grab and go. I feel like as well that encourages me to eat more fruit as well. Like it's already prepped, like it's just easy. How cute are these little jars? Um, I actually got this from Poundland. I think they were like three pound for six, which is amazing. I'm gonna wash these out, then wash the fruit, chop it all up and then make some little fruit jars. So good. Raspberries. These are big raspberries. <laughs> I think I'm only going to be able to put on a couple grapes actually, but that's all right. these are the little fruit jars i just about squeezed the grapes on top but there we go i feel like these are such a good um like snack to have and it's like a healthier option as well like not that i'm big on that but to be honest i just love fruit and you can literally like mix and match these and do whatever you want put whatever fruit you want in them granola would be cool in here as well jake said that i should have put some granola in here but hey thank you right i feel like this is pretty much it now for the fridge pretty happy with it because the thing is as well yeah not only do i want it to like look nice of course that's just like the satisfying part that motivates me to do it but at the same time i need it to be functional don't get me wrong this looks nice now right but this doesn't work obviously every single time for our food shop for example depending on what we're eating that week will depend on how much room i need elsewhere so sometimes i might just put one or two of these and then you'll have more room a lot of the time we actually only have like one row of drinks at the top so we normally have this shelf for any like fresh foods or whatever for what we have this week this way sort of works perfect so i just have a little jig around i mean essentials <laughs> the bottom this is where we have like all the raw meats and stuff and then some like veggies at the back there i just put some spare grapes because we had them um and then i actually took out the middle of this one and decided to put some carrots in there it's like dairy some veggies and then yeah the drinks and stuff 
at the top. So that's the fridge done. Now on to the main part of the kitchen. I'm gonna start the cupboard here and then just work my way around. This is currently what we're working with. <laughs> Oh, can you guys see all the shit that's over the front of the cupboard? That is grim. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Thank God I'm cleaning because it's needed. So these cupboards, to be fair, really aren't too bad. I'm pretty good at keeping on top of the cupboards, actually. Like, they're never that bad. Um, they do need a bit of a clean, though, because there's some, like, marks and grossness down there. A little bit of a refill and a tidy. I don't really know what's going on back here, but... Just going to take some Mr. Sheen to dust it over. Do you know what? This is actually my favorite thing to use on the top of the worktops, like when I'm done. I'll clean them with like anti-vac first and then I'll use this to just shine it off because there's nothing actually in these cupboards that is spirit or anything. I'm just going to go straight in with it. Got an extra one of those. <laughs> these jars, by the way, these are from a company called Hampshire Home Trends. I'll leave them below. They do loads of custom jars, like different colored tops, different sizes, shapes, all for different things. I'm gonna restock as I go, so I've got some of that pasta. I'm gonna pull this out. By the way, the reason why I bring them forward is because normally around the back I'll put any like restock stuffed back there. Say like I filled up one of these and I had left over, I will seal it and put it around the back. This down here guys, I think I need to go through and check out any at the back just to make sure they're out of date because they've been in there for a while. This is where I keep like pasta packets or rice packets, anything like that, it goes on here. Um, and if I bring you closer so you can see what they are, I basically put them on these little hooks. Both the clips and the pole I got from Amazon. It's literally just like, here's a spare one. This is like an extendable pole so you can make it fit in your cupboards. These have been in here for freaking ages, like since we pretty much moved in. Yeah, they're like April and March. Oh my god, that's November. Okay, right. <laughs> yeah, this method of stocking this to me is so easy because you can just sort of like, it's like, it's like a clothing rail. <laughs> The rice pasta cupboard is done. The next one along. Again, it's not too bad. It's just a little bit like messy. And just some like random bits in there as well. I'm going to do the same thing. I think I'm going to take everything out. I actually have everything on these um, Lazy Susans. Honestly, the best thing ever for stuff like this because you can just turn and see what you have. What? What is that? <laughs> Guys, I think I'm going to switch out these um, Lazy Susans. So these ones were really good. I think these were an Amazon jobby, these ones. But I've got these ones from Don Lewis. These are the same make as the ones in the fridge, by the way. And as you can see, they're a lot bigger. And they're actually taller as well, which is handy. You know, like tall bottles like this, they just have a little bit more support. Do you know what I mean? And this is kind of cool. They have like a little, um, what do you call this? Like a little extra section in here. I'm not sure why, but they do. I'm going to keep to the same method I had before, I think. I think I'm going to use that one back there for tins. This one for, like, oils and stuff like that. Cobra, what are you eating? Cobra found a rogue pasta twirl, so he's eating that. And then this one I think I had as, like, sauces and stuff like that. Two tins fit in there literally perfectly, like, fit in one section perfectly. That is so satisfying. <laughs> Right, there's the first one done. Chili infused on sesame oil. What else do we have? We've got a little bit of garlic oil. This stuff, by the way, so good. Garlic infused oil, the chili one, everything. Oh my God, it's unreal. Here you go, here's the chili one. The chili infused one, they're so good. There's so much flavor to your meals as well. I've got some stock cube things here, so I'm actually gonna pop those in there. Or it can like come out if it needs to. Guys, this is another thing. If you can get your hands on this, try this. It's the Heinz balsamic with a hint of garlic. This one, salads, unreal. And every spray is only one calorie. Honestly, this is so yummy. Last bit, we're gonna put some peanut butter, some biscoff. To be honest, nothing really even has a home here. I've got some salmon oil and coconut oil that we put in Kobe's dinner, and then the spices, and then there's like flour and stuff back there, but it's just sort of like emmy. This has been used and abused at the moment, this um, spice rack. By the way, again, the pots are from Hampshire Home Trends. I'm pretty sure as well I got the stand that they're on actually from Poundland. 
random bit of seaweed chilling at the back. I'm gonna take one of these turntables and I think I'll put that there and I'm gonna put Cobra's bits on. These two I'm going to put at the top, so the salt and pepper, because when I was in TK Maxx the other day, I actually picked up this set of salt and pepper. So I had them, but they weren't refillable, which is so annoying because we have looked like a huge bag of like Himalayan pink salt here. And the other dispensers we had, you couldn't refill. So I bought these ones and these ones you can refill, which is great. There we go, both shelves are done. The only thing that I need to do for these is get some sticky pads for the bottom. I didn't realize, but on these ones at the bottom, see how they have those little pads? So they stick to the surface, because right now when you try to turn these, the whole thing just moves because it's just so slippy. And I can still reach in here as well to get these, which is great. I'm just gonna slide this actually down there. Guys, there are two cupboards in the kitchen that I just, I don't want to look at. It's this one they're about to do. Um, and then this corner one. You know cupboards that just get, just they, like everything is just in there. Like there's no home for stuff. <laughs> to be fair, I don't mind that. There's always like a room in the house or like a cupboard or something that's just full of shit. But these are these two cupboards for me. The under the sink one's always so awkward because it's under the sink. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you don't have as much room. Let me show you. In my head, for some reason, this was way worse. By the way, this is the dishwasher, the next one along. So that's why we're here, but same procedure, I guess. I think what I need this to be is like the medicine cabinet mixed with like dishwasher tablets and bin bags and just dishwasher stuff. Because I've got a cleaning cupboard in the utility. God, look at this. <laughs> in this little tray, I'm going to pop Cobra's poo bags. You shitty bum. And then in this one, I'm going to put like any other little bags that we have. All clean tea towels. It's definitely not perfect, but that definitely looks neater and tidier. Oh, one's fallen there. It makes sense for what's here, if that makes sense. It's just one of those under the sink cupboards. Anyway, see now this cupboard, guys, this is actually one of my favorites because when this is full, this is the best cupboard. This is the crisp and like sweet treat cupboard, okay? Up top, I normally have crisps, but at the moment we've got... What is this? Some corn cakes. These are Jake's. Some popcorn. Empty jars. I swear these are from Christmas, but they're empty now, so... Oh my god, Angel Delight. Who remembers Angel Delight? Banging. These containers, which they're stored in right now... Just like a crisp. <laughs> You can get these, I'm pretty sure, from like B&M Home Bargains, even B&Q, I think. I think they're the mom. Are they called the mom? Wham? Is it Wham? I think it could be Wham. The, these storage containers, you can get them in all different like sizes. These are obviously the bigger ones, but because I did that John Lewis order, guys, I'm going to upgrade them to ugh, these huge drawers. Actually, guys, I think I've made a rookie. I don't think I can fit two along and be able to but, like pull them both open. I think this is going to get in the way. <gasps> that's so annoying. I wanted to put these up top and then the um, Lazy Susans at the bottom, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to now, am I? Shit. Okay, um, think, 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 think. What I could do is actually get rid of the shell and just have these if I wanted to, like have the actual separation things just like that, rather than it be a drawer, that could work. First things first, let's just clean this and then we'll cross that bridge when we get to it because right now my brain is like, the fuck? <laughs> I'm just trying to see what this would look like. But then do I prefer the white ones because they're a bit more like shallow? You see what I mean guys? Like they sit a bit more like over the top. I know with these you can see through them, but do I prefer that? I can't decide, I might ask Jake. I do like though how that's sectioned off right there. So we've got McCoy's salt and vinegar. Jake actually just went to the shop and got these because I forgot to get Chris food shop in. Am I feeling okay? <laughs> Look. Oh. He's got one of my favorite things ever. Guys, have you tried these? The Crunchy What's It's? Oh, unbelievable. I'm a bit of a crisp fiend. I could eat crisps 24 seven, probably, to be honest. What do we think of that? Actually, maybe that could work. Perfect. 
perfect. Even though I couldn't do the drawers in the end, that still looks good. This cupboard, like, ew. <laughs> do you know what's annoying about it, right? It's the fact that it's just, like, just full of just everything. Like, you've got all types of, like, protein powders and supplements and there's syrups in here. It's basically stuff to do with, like, tea and coffee, right? And cups are in here as well, like, random ones. Why is the hand bender in here? Definitely Jake. <laughs> Definitely needs emptying those so I can actually see what is here because honestly, I have no idea. I think just over time, things have just been stuffed into this, fitting it in, and it's just one of those cupboards that we actually never go in. See, that's annoying. When a cupboard gets this messy, yeah, I, I won't go in it. You forget what you have, and that's why I do like them to be clean and tidy so you can see exactly what we've got. What the hell, look. Protein World Slender Blend Meal Replacement Shakes. Jake probably doesn't even know he's got that. Another one, chocolate orange flavor. They actually look quite good. These are like pod refills. That's the only thing that's like somewhat organized. <laughs> what are we thinking guys? I wish you could like help me through the screen. So I'm thinking we could do maybe teas and coffees and things like that up here. And in the bottom maybe we can do like protein powders and supplements. Does that kind of make sense? I'm gonna pop these protein world things back. protein powder is this a protein powder that's a creamer so that could go up here that's another creamer that's like a collagen powder so again that can go down here pg tips refills what's this this is another protein powder cool super greens from milani nutrition here along with a balance powder um, and there's another one here. Oh, that's pre-workout. Yeah, we'll keep that down here. Actually, I'm gonna move these over to this side because I'm gonna put the Nutribullet down the side here. That kind of makes sense to me. Syrups. Okay, that's looking better. I feel like I can come up with a better system, but for now, at least that's way tidier than what it was. And then any of these cups down here, these are gonna go in one of the other drawers, but at least that's done. The rest of the cupboards is like plates, cutlery, cups, glasses, all of that. They're actually organized because obviously that stays the same every single time. You're just using them and putting them back. Does that make sense? I'm actually just about to put some dishwasher bits away. So then they're like full. Also, everything here is a clean. I will show you them though in case you're curious to see what they look like and how I store things like that. Then I'll be the fun part, like countertops. Just cleaning those, any restocks like of my coffee pods, of my cereal thing, of my jars. Then I'll have a beautiful clean kitchen. Ding! <laughs> has begun so to clean the oven i'm literally just going to use washing up liquid in one of my little sponge things like this washing up liquid by the way you can use for so much i use it in the sink and everything and then i will use the sif perfect finish stainless steel 100 percent streak free shine just on my scrub mummy on like the softer side i'll just buff that in and dry it and then it's like streak free and clean and beautiful This is so random, okay, but trust me, this works. So as good as this is, this sift stuff, sometimes around like the edge of the like hob bits, it's not as shiny or as streak free as I like. And that's just where obviously it's awkward. You can't get like a smooth this, do you know what I mean? Olive oil, right? Now just a small amount, a small little drizzle like that onto your cloth. I'm using one of the glass cloths from, is it Minky? I think it is. This is my favorite like glass cleaning cloth, which is why I use it for this because it's kind of like buffs it in. Anyway, see how here it's like a little bit streaky. All I do in little circular motions is just buff over it. And you see that? How much better that is. Just make sure you don't use a lot because obviously you don't want to leave like residue on the top of your cooker. 
But honestly, that is a game changer. I do this on the sink as well, and I feel like it just gets the stainless steel up perfectly. I'll show you. It doesn't feel greasy either, by the way, if you're wondering. Like, it doesn't really leave any residue. If you use, like, the perfect amount, it will look like this. I can literally see myself in it. Disgusting, but this is the reality of the situation. So this is my sink before and after. How much better does that look? I've obviously got these little things to put in, but... Hello. Stock, shall we? Let me bring you in. Could have done with another box actually, but it's fun. I have no more of the caramel ones, so I'm just gonna fill it up with vanilla, which might trigger some of you, but you know what? <laughs> At least it's full. <laughs> Coffee pods refilled. Apologies for the noise, guys. Jake's just mowing the grass. He's trying to do it before the sun goes down, and I'm trying to do this before the sun goes down, so. I never have kitchen roll out, and I want to, because I feel like it's such a convenient thing to have. And when I was in Primark the other day, I picked up this kitchen roll holder which I feel like is dead nice. Thinking about where to put it though, what I might do is maybe move the utensils part to over here. Maybe this here. And then maybe these little coffee things I could just move a bit further up. Let me see. No! No! <laughs> what if I take off a few sheets and then I can just fold them up ready to be used? There we go. Look at that. Oh, I love that. All these things make me happy. <laughs> These have been part of the kitchen since we moved in and I love them and throughout the year we like change them so sometimes I do cookies in these jars, sometimes I do sweets. I think at one point we had one full of like drumstick squashies when my nephew came over. Oh my god, he was obsessed. It was the cutest thing ever. Nice for people to have and obviously we munch on them as well. The thing is though guys, when you do these, you need a lot of biscuits, okay? I'm talking like... Yeah. I usually buy like seven to eight packs of every single one. That way if we do have more, I can just store them in the cupboard and then they're there to be re refilled as and when. Aldi or Lidl are one of the best places. These ones are from Aldi because they do like almost like their own versions of them. And I think like these like 40p each for a pack. Really, it isn't expensive to do. Um, so that's just like my little tip. So we've got jam and creams. And another one, we've got cookies and cream. So basically Oreos. And then these, these are basically um, Aldi's version. Aldi, Aldi. What do you guys say? I feel like people are going to take the piss out of me. <laughs> these are their version of the Fox's biscuits. These are unbelievable. These are the half coated chocolate chunks. Thank you. 
are done. The biscuit jars are all full up. That's how it's looking. The kitchen is really coming together now, which is good. I think I need to turn on these lights actually because it's getting a little bit dark now. I think we're done guys. I haven't mopped the floor yet, but I did give it a hoover. That's the only thing that needs doing, but everything else has been clean, organized, restocked, all of the above. So let's show you the final thing. You can't really see, hold on. I feel like I need to go at a different angle. We haven't done anything crazy. Like it's not transformed. It's still the same kitchen. It's just clean and organized. Makes the biggest difference. And to be fair, I know that now everywhere is spotless. Like I've cleaned, basically deep clean the entire kitchen. We have the bench table all done have these napkins actually i got these from primark the other day 350 for two but i think i'm gonna replace these ones with them because i feel like the little black accents on there would look better but yeah for now we've got these and yeah the kitchen i added this uh pampas vase by the way oh look you can see jake and cobra out there do the barbecue <laughs> both the vase and the pampas is from b&m and I just pop that there because I think that looks cute. It feels so much better. I feel like I've not restocked everything in a really long time. So all the pastas and the rices. And then we've got this one here. Just looks so much better, doesn't it? Under the sink. Uh, my favorite cupboard. Sorry, guys. I'm just like re-showing you everything. But in fact, I did say to you guys, I'll show you all these drawers as well. So this is just my cutlery drawer. Nothing exciting. Then the one underneath. This is like... All the little bits and bobs. Cheese graters are little mini, um, what do you call these? I don't know, these are just little things to like display the food with, the mini casserole dishes, our egg things. You get the gist. And then the bottom one is all like our, oh, oh God, I can't even open it, we go. <laughs> these are like our storage pots. Nothing fresh. And then in this one, we've got our glasses. Alcohol glasses is what's in this one. And then up here, these are like our cups for water and things like that. Isn't it weird, by the way, how you have different glasses for different things? <laughs> I was watching this video on TikTok the other day and it's so true. Like, for example, like I would never put tea in this glass. Like that is for coffee only. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's so weird how we like associate cups with a liquid. Um, but yeah, they're just in there. Sorry guys, it's starting to get a bit dark now. So I'll hurry this up, but just my plates and stuff up there. And then underneath the cookers, this is where we store the saucepans. By the way, we got one of these little organizer things. I think this is from Amazon, but I know a lot of people for their saucepan lids, they use like um, the washing up things. You know when you wash it up and then you put the clean things in it, like that. So that's a little hack there, but we've got all the saucepans, crock pot and chopping boards. Yeah, and that's it. And then of course the fridge that we did the first time round. Oh, I'm a fraud. Jake took one of these out, so let me just <laughs> I don't do that every time. That's so not realistic. The wine rack, that is from, I'm going to say B&M. It's looking very sad right now. We need to do some top-ups. Um, I think my fruit holders from B&M quickly run through anything. These are from Amazon. Zero dispenser, I'm pretty sure. And if there's anything else you might want to know. I mean, if there is anything you want to know, like where it's from, just let me know down below. When this video goes live, I'll make sure I'm in the comments to reply to you guys. But yeah, that's my kitchen organization video. Grab myself a nice glass of wine and just enjoy my clean kitchen.